Listen up, my lovely lot, you're in for a treat today. We're diving into the world of carnivore diet cakes. Yeah, you heard that right. Cakes on a meat eater's diet. It's not just possible, it's downright delicious. And the best part? You can whip these up right in your own kitchen. We're talking eggs, cream cheese, and butter. That's it. No flour, no sugar, just pure animal-based goodness. These cakes are a game changer for anyone following a carnivore diet. They're rich, they're satisfying, and they'll knock your socks off with how good they taste. So, whether you're a die-hard carnivore or just looking to try something new, these cakes are for you. So, let's get cracking and learn how to make these beauties. Now let's talk ingredients. The beauty of carnivore diet cakes lies in their simplicity. We're keeping it real with just three key players, eggs, cream cheese, and butter. These ingredients are the holy trinity of carnivore baking. They're all animal-based, which keeps us true to the carnivore way. The eggs give structure and lift. The cream cheese adds richness and tang. And the butter? Well, that's where the flavor really comes alive. Together, they create something that's greater than the sum of its parts. It's simple food, done right. Let's start with eggs, shall we? These humble ingredients are more versatile and essential than you might think. These little beauties are the backbone of our carnivore cake. They are not just a simple addition. They are the very essence of what makes our cake extraordinary. Eggs are the unsung heroes of our cake, providing structure, moisture, and a good dose of nutrition. They bring a unique combination of elements that no other ingredient can match. When you crack an egg into your mixing bowl, you're adding a powerhouse of protein. This protein is crucial for the cake's texture and stability. This protein is what gives our cake its structure. Without it, the cake would be a mere shadow of its potential. As the cake bakes, the proteins in the egg coagulate, forming a network that holds everything together. This network is essential for the cake's integrity. It's like nature's own scaffolding, giving our cake that perfect, firm yet tender texture. This texture is what makes each bite so satisfying. But eggs aren't just about structure. They're flavor bombs, too. The yolks, in particular, are packed with elements that elevate the taste. The yolks are packed with fat that adds richness to our cake. This richness is what makes the cake feel indulgent and luxurious. And let's not forget about the subtle, savory note they bring. This note balances the sweetness and adds depth to the flavor profile. So get the best quality eggs you can find. Your cake will thank you for it. High-quality eggs make a noticeable difference in both taste and texture, ensuring your cake is the best it can be. Remember, the foundation of flavor starts with the basics, and in this case, the humble egg is the star of the show. Treat it with the respect it deserves, and your cake will be a masterpiece. Next up, we've got cream cheese. This creamy wonder is what gives our carnivore cake its luscious texture. Cream cheese adds moisture, keeping our cake from drying out. It also adds a subtle tang, balancing out the richness of the eggs and butter. For our carnivore cake, we want full-fat cream cheese. The fat in cream cheese is what gives our cake its luxurious mouthfeel. When you're mixing your cream cheese, make sure it's at room temperature. Cold cream cheese can lead to lumps in your batter and nobody wants that. Just take it out of the fridge about an hour before you start baking. And here's a pro tip, give it a good beating on its own before you add the other ingredients. All right, my lovely lot, let's talk about butter. This humble ingredient is often overlooked, but it plays a crucial role in baking, especially when it comes to our carnivore cake. This golden goodness is the final piece of our carnivore cake puzzle. Without it, our cake would be missing that essential richness and flavor. Butter adds richness, making the cake tender and preventing it from becoming tough. It's the secret to achieving that perfect melt-in-your-mouth texture. It's a flavor powerhouse too, with a slightly sweet nutty taste that adds depth to our cake. This depth of flavor is what sets our cake apart from the rest. And let's not forget about the aroma. The scent of butter as it bakes is simply irresistible. As the cake bakes, the butter melts and releases its fragrance, filling your kitchen with the most incredible smell. It's like a warm, inviting hug for your senses. For this cake, we want unsalted butter. This is important because it allows us to control the salt content in our recipe. Different brands of salted butter can have different amounts of salt, which can throw off the taste of our cake. Consistency is key in baking, and unsalted butter gives us that control. By using unsalted butter, we can ensure our cake tastes exactly how we want it to. Precision in baking is crucial, and this small step makes a big difference. So, let's get that butter ready. Make sure it's at room temperature for easy mixing. This will help it blend seamlessly into our batter, ensuring a smooth and even texture throughout the cake. Right, now we've got our ingredients sorted, it's time to get mixing. First things first, make sure all your ingredients are at room temperature. Room temp ingredients mix together more easily, creating a smoother batter. 
Start with your cream cheese. Give it a good beating on its own first. Once it's smooth, add your softened butter. Mix these two together until they're well combined. Next, it's time for the eggs. Add them one at a time, mixing well after each addition. This gradual approach helps to create a stable emulsion. You're aiming for a smooth, creamy batter with no lumps. All right, my lovely lot, we've got our batter ready. Now it's time for the real magic baking. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Prepare your baking tin with butter and parchment paper. Pour your batter into the prepared tin and give it a gentle shake to level it out. Wrap the outside of the tin in foil to insulate the cake. Pop it in the oven and let it bake for about 45 to 50 minutes. The top should be golden brown, and the cake should have a slight wobble in the center. Once it's done, turn off the oven, but leave the cake inside with the door slightly ajar. This gradual cooling helps prevent cracks. Now let's talk frosting. We're going to make a carnivore-friendly frosting that's just as delicious as the traditional stuff. Our carnivore frosting is dead simple. We're using the same ingredients as our cake cream cheese and butter. Beat them together until they're smooth and creamy. If you want to get fancy, you can add a little vanilla extract for flavor. When it comes to applying the frosting, wait until your cake is completely cool. If you try to frost a warm cake, you'll end up with a melty mess. Once the cake is cool, spread the frosting evenly over the top. Either way, it's going to taste amazing. Right, we've got our cake baked and frosted. Now comes the fun part, serving and eating. This cake is brilliant on its own. Cut yourself a slice, grab a fork, and dive in. The rich, creamy texture and subtle sweetness are perfect just as they are. But if you want to jazz it up a bit, there are plenty of options that still keep things carnivore-friendly. One of my favorite ways to serve this cake is with a dollop of whipped cream. Just whip up some heavy cream until it's thick and fluffy. The light, airy cream is a perfect contrast to the dense, rich cake. And don't be afraid to experiment with flavors like vanilla or lemon zest. All right, my lovely lot, let's talk about some tips and tricks to make sure your carnivore cake turns out perfect every time. Use the best quality ingredients you can get your hands on. Fresh eggs, full-fat cream cheese, and good butter will make your cake taste amazing. Make sure all your ingredients are at room temperature before you start. This helps them mix together more easily, creating a smoother batter. Don't overmix your batter. Mix until everything is just combined. And when you're baking, resist the urge to open the oven door too often. Let your cake cool completely before frosting it. And if you can resist, let it sit in the fridge for a few hours or overnight before serving. Well, there you have it, my friends. Everything you need to know about making delicious carnivore diet cakes at home. From selecting the freshest ingredients to mastering the perfect baking techniques, we've covered all the essentials. It's been quite the journey, hasn't it? We've explored the nuances of each ingredient, understanding their roles and how they contribute to the final product. From our simple trio of ingredients to the final frosted masterpiece, we've covered it all. Each step, from mixing to baking to decorating, is a crucial part of the process. Remember, baking is all about experimentation and having fun. It's not just about following a recipe to the letter, but about making it your own. Don't be afraid to play around with the recipe, Try new variations and make it your own. Maybe add a pinch of your favorite spice or a unique ingredient that you love. That's the beauty of cooking. It's a personal adventure. Each cake you bake tells a story, your story. And even if your first attempt isn't perfect, that's okay. Every great chef started somewhere, and every mistake is a learning opportunity. Practice makes perfect, and you'll get better with each cake you bake. Each time you step into the kitchen, you're honing your skills and getting closer to perfection. I hope this guide has inspired you to give carnivore cakes a go. They're a testament to the fact that dietary restrictions don't have to limit your culinary creativity. They're proof that following a specific diet doesn't mean missing out on delicious treats. You can still enjoy the rich, satisfying flavors you love. So get out there, get baking, and most importantly, have fun. The kitchen is your playground and the possibilities are endless. Until next time, happy cooking. Remember, the joy of baking is in the journey, not just the destination. Enjoy every moment and savor every bite.